double down in the double take collection event. Squad up with quads, earn lifelines, apex corruptor, and level up with 1.5 times towards its prestige challenges with their mid-season patch. Quads take over. Yep. I'm excited for that. Playing in quads. Loophole has been updated to avoid infighting uh, for ammo, attachments, and regen items. You may even have a small chance to obtain a blue or purple kitty weapon. Nice. Trends are too small to squeeze a fourth on board, but let them walk. <laughs> if you're more of a team player, there's always evac towers or Valksalt. And Skyward Dive, along with all their legend abilities, have also been updated to support a fourth. What does that mean? Other legend abilities. What other legend needs an update? To hold a fourth player. It's only Valk, isn't it? Like what? Whatever. These new skins look pretty cool. I'm excited for this one. That condo skin looks sick. Same with the Rev one. Rev one's pretty lit. Octane looks good as Alter. Uh, and people are hating on this Lifeline skin. I think the Lifeline skin's pretty good. You know, can't ask for more. It could have been something crazy, but you know how many good Lifeline skins there are? Like, Lifeline has a million skins. You can earn up to 1,400 points a day. There's a Valk skin, 30-30 skin. That rest is pretty mid. <clears throat> Still going to be expensive for these bundles, so save your money if you're trying to buy. Ranked Rumble. Finish off your ranked season by finding out who takes the top in our very first Ranked Rumble, August 3rd to 6th. Uh, up people's regular rank season will be shorter and rank rumble takes over but this is the best time to find the best of the best each ranked here will qualify for their very own leaderboard damn okay squad up with your friends to compete your 10 ranked rumble matches pushing your score and placement as high as possible no need to opt in everyone who has already achieved a rank this season is auto eligible your ranked rumble placement will have no impact on your rp or ranked season placement of rewards okay this is pretty mid Purple light mags in the care package. Gold weapons are the same. Uh, I like this change. End rings now have more even distribution throughout the map. That's good. Each quadrant of the map now have roughly 25% chance of getting selected. So every game should be a bit more, you know, variable than the last. Oh. Okay. Survival slot items were not spawning in all loot quality zones. Shit. Okay. Yeah, the G7 update's huge. Uh, 33 damage from 32, increased rate of fire, and adjust recoil to be more consistent when firing at max fire rate. <laughs> yep, they have data. The Havoc Rifle, I don't think this is going to change anything. It's just the fucking... The mag, bro. That'll be fine. This is crazy. That's a good multiplier increase. Longbow's going to be go so good. Reduce hip fire randomness. That's all right. Rampire, Rampage LMG firing animation has less of vertical movement while in ABS. Oh, because it used to be like, bop, 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 bop. Uh, Peacekeeper blue and purple. So optics are nice. That's good. Because I hate the two times when I'm on a Peacekeeper when you pick that shit up, bro. Oh, it's so annoying. Charge rifle and sentinel. Nice, yeah. This is crazy. Will no longer provide threat vision through smoke or gas. So is it still gonna provide threat vision everywhere else? Like, what does that mean, devs? Uh, void passage crypto MP will now affect all players phased by the void passage. Kinda sucks. That alter crypto gameplay was fun to watch. Uh, Bangalore, everybody gets to see you. You're highlighted white. If anyone's in the smoke with you, they'll see you. You'll see them. So that's pretty good. It'll make f smokes like a bit easier to fight in. Uh, Bloodhound, nerf to the ground. Like this is crazy. I remember seeing this on Twitter. Uh, I think these aren't too bad, but like, dude, nobody's playing blood anymore. Nobody. Let me just break it down more here. Upgrade level 3, down and away. Attack will now refresh on both Nox and Assist. Nox within 3 second window, and then same with Rev. So that's pretty good. Uh, maps for pubs. 
Broken Moon, Kings Canyon, Olympus, ranked, Broken Moon, Olympus, World's Edge. It's not terrible. This will be fun. 15 teams of 4 players, loot improvements, lobby scores a 4th player for inviting in previous match squad members, yeah. Okay, here we go, Mirage Decoy shows 4 squad members, yeah. Valk's alt, yeah. Vantage passive can spot the armor of everybody, okay. Loba's ultimate has UI to support a 4th player. <sighs> Excuse me. LTM for sure. A little up mixtape, yeah, I don't give a shit. Oh, okay. Bug fixes. That bug never happened to me. That's crazy. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's a weird bug. Uh, legends. Big bug legends for Alter. I never saw that. Interesting. Catalyst. Piercing spikes no longer activated by Marvins. That's smart. Piercing spikes activation no longer blocked by Gibraltar's gun shield. Nice. Dude, I didn't know that was a thing. That's crazy. <laughs> Revenant Ashes Arc Snare will no longer occasionally bounce off Forge Shadows. Damn, dude. Imagine that. Okay, quality of life, gameplay. Yeah, just a bunch of bullshit here. Yeah, well, that's the patch notes. Mid-season patch update. Looks like it's going to be good. I'm excited. Squads. You get to drop with the quads, dude. Let's go. <laughs> nice. That's fine. It's been good seeing you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you watched it all the way, make sure to leave your favorite part of the patch note. See you guys later.